Have you ever wondered about the strange place names in the United States? Here is an alternative map produced by, I just see it's on my desk here, produced and published by those people, the Museum of Cherokee Indian, Cherokee, North Carolina, and the artist at the bottom you can see Jennifer K. Smith or something like that, Jennifer something Smith. All right, so a, we're gonna read this map so you can see some of the uh, some of the connections. All right, let's start. How about we start here? All right, uh, this the spelling on some of this. Uh, it's it's really easy to uh, read this one in this spelling format. Okay, for example, here is Algonquin. It's spelled that way there, but on the same map it's spelled that way with a Q U in it. All right. So, there are spelling variations, okay? This is not a crash course in uh, American history or anything like that. But just to, uh, uh, just to get you some links between geography and geography today and geographical place names and past, okay? So, uh, that one just reads Mi'kmaq. Uh, and it's Abenaki, okay. Massachusetts. Okay, that's still that's still around. That's where that place is named after. There's Mohawk. If you're wondering about a haircut, that's that's what that is. Mohawk is a name of an Aboriginal group there. There's Mohicans. The last of the Mohicans know they're still alive and happy and uh, live around. Some of them have these strange French spelling because this was French North America. So with with Q U in it, like uh, Algonquin had a different spelling. So is Iroquois. Let me see. What do we have there? Seneca. There's Delaware. Uh, Erie, also named. You know, the lake is also Lake Erie. And if you ever wondered about what the heck that is, that one is uh, spelled and looks like Miami. Even though Miami is in Florida, but that's uh, that's a, that's a that's an American Indian word, okay? All right, we were somewhere here. Uh, Tuscarora, Chesape Chesapeake. You know, there's Chesapeake Bay. Uh, uh, this is a First uh, Nation or a Native American word. Cherokee. If you wonder about Jeep Cherokee, where where the uh, manufacturer got the word from, it's uh, the name of a group they used to live there. But they're, they're still around, still around. Uh, like uh, you know, there there's a museum and there's and uh, and they're still about. All right. Uh, what else do we have? UG. Let me see. Seminole. I don't know. What's the last one there? Okeechobee. Okay. Uh, by Loxy, there is a there's a place name that that also appears uh, that's still that's still around. Uh, Chickasaw. Let me see. Osage. There is a tree. If you ever wondered about what the heck an Osage orange is, it's a tree with a strange fruit. A fruit looks like orange, a little bit wrinkled, or it has an interesting texture on the skin. Osage orange. There. So Osage is a. Uh, uh, First Nation. Let me see. Wichita. Uh, what else do we have here? Apache, Comanche. Uh, Apache, you might come across fairly frequently. Comanche, there's a helicopter named after Comanche. That one is Kiowa. It's similar to Iowa, but uh, I, the Iowa are also around. So there's Iowa and there is Kiowa. Cheyenne Pony, Kansas. This is the state of Kansas, a plural of Kansas. There is Missouri, Omaha, let me see. Illinois, the state of Illinois. It's a French with a silent S. All right, the French word. Uh, let me see. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention this one here. Uh, Appalachia. The Appalachian Mountain Range running uh, yonder is named after, it's also a First Nation word, Appalachia. 
Okay, where was I? Uh, Illinois, there's Miami, Erie, Winnebago. There is a vehicle, some kind of camper, uh, whatever thingy, R RV, that's what it is, RV, a recreational vehicle. I don't know who makes it, whatever, but you can see them labeled Winnebago. I don't know nothing about those. I motorcycle, so. Kickapoo, let me see. I'll go on can, let me see. I'm just Cree, we got lots of Crees and uh, Jibwas and uh, okay, let me see. The Blackfoot, what else is in Canada here? Uh yeah the Kootenays. Uh that's yeah, that's one spelling variant. Kootenay. Uh Chill Cotton, yeah. This one this map uh, has a fair amount of oversimplification. This one also says Nootka on the Vancouver Island and Salish, it says Salish and tribes. Uh, these are Salish, Coast Salish people, uh, including uh, Haida, Heisla, and there are lots of little subgroups in it. I live around here. Chinook, that's also a wind that is uh, in the Pacific, uh, in the Pacific Mountains here, and it's a warm wind that goes down, runs down to the plains, and uh, brings melting and widespread mayhem so that's a chinook uh, a wind let me see flat nespers another french word yakina those those words are still around you know in counties counties are named this way let's see mm, let's see So that was California there, Yuma. There's a Yuma is a First Nation group. It was it's also a place name. Same for Mojave. Uh, the Hopi, the Zuni, all of these desert Indians, the Pueblos, Navajos, all of these uh, First Nations living in the desert. Okay. Let me see, Shoshone, Banup, Cheyenne, uh, Cheyenne, yeah, popular name for girls or whatever, people. Yeah, more Cheyenne, Pony. Let's see, what else do we have here? Yeah, we looked at Blackfoot, as cinema, Dakota. Dakota also runs as L, with an L, Lakota. So, and then, yeah, that's pretty much we are done with this map. All right, so there's a couple of spelling variations. And just you, if you want to read this, this is what's on it. You know, you can freeze the frame and read it. And there is one more little text there. You can freeze the frame and read it. And there's a last little bit of text there and there. So, so that's what the map is looking like and uh, and if you wonder about uh, these place names so there's a little bit of connection between the people who actually live there and the place names that are still used used or in use today so there you have it